hearing Nnamdi Kano opens a new book as Justice Nyako questioned the illegal extradition of Nnamdi Kano. That's it. Um, you see, I want to tell you people that Justice Nyako is not just a judge. Yes, it's not just a judge. You know, before you are, you are made a judge, you must have crossed series, series of trials, cases, issues, and challenges. And as she is speaking, all eyes are on her, not just in Nigeria, but the whole world are listening to her. They are picking each, each of her words. Do you listen to what those observers, those observers from uh, from 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 from, from uh, and what those observers UK government sent to observe uh, uh, Uzodima's victory uh, when he challenged uh, EADR in court uh, uh, after the concluded uh, gubernatorial election? Did you listen to that? Did you hear what they said? They said that Nigeria is a country with a law, but behave like a country with no law. That's it. For them to voice out something of that sort, you know that something is wrong. Something is wrong. You can see. So, my dear listeners in the house, we have to wake up. Do you understand? We have to wake up. Let's hear the content. The Federal High Court in Abuja is hearing the application of the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Namde Kano, challenging the property of his trial as well as competence of the charge against him. Justice Benta Nyako had adjourned the hearing to 16th of February 2022 after Mr. Kano pleaded not guilty to the amendment for 15 count charges of terrorism brought against him by the federal government. Today's trial has opened a new book as Justice Binta Nyako challenged the initial judgment of illegal extradition of Namikano. Namikano had claimed that the charges which he denied upon arraignment were incurably defective and have no force of law. Hmm. With all this that is happening, somebody somewhere will now be telling me that Namikano will not be victorious. <laughs> oh, joke that will never come to pass. See, let me tell you, my dear listeners, we just have to be sincere. We just have to be sincere and straight to the point. Um, Nam the Kano is already at the door of victory. And I know that nobody, nobody can question that at all. Nobody can question that. So there is nothing anyone can say or there is nothing anyone can do if Justin Binta Nyako decides to pass judgment in favor of him. It's not even in favor of Nam Kano, but by, as, as, as justice demand. And for the fact that he has been able to beat the necessary conditions, he deserves to be free. If you check online now, you will see that Nam Kano holds the highest support. Everybody is singing of his release. Warning, worry, and passing automaton. Do you understand? So, that is one thing uh, uh, Malami and his cohorts need to know. You see, I don't need to be flogging too much on this matter because everybody already knows what today's trial is going to bring and it really brought out what we want to hear. Yes, it brought out what we want to hear. And there is no way... Uh, 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 Justin Pinta is going to pass an unfair judgment because 
the whole world are watching him and listening to him. Mind you, the UK Parliament have passed ultimatum of one month to see that this very trial is concluded. So definitely by April 8th, when this trial has been adjoined, it means that nothing could going to stop Nam the Canon from leaving that detention. So I don't still know why the federal government are still delaying the judgment of this very trial. Do you understand? I don't know why. Knowing fully well that each trial have been speaking in favor of Nam the Canon. So why are they still disturbing themselves? Why? And for what reasons? Wow. Okay. Oh, my dear listeners, I think um, everything has been made open and everyone is now seeing the truth behind all of these stories we have been hearing in the time past. Nambi Kanu is this, Nambi Kanu is that. Now that Nambi Kanu is in Nigeria, face to face is saying it and there is nothing Bwari or Malami could say shows that all the while they have been lying. You can see, and that is why you saw that people that were by the side of the federal government have withdrawn and now start throwing support for Biafra. Biafra. It will amaze you that the Northerners now, 60% Northerners are in support, are in support of Biafran agitation. Do you know that? Are you aware? Of course, yes. That is reality now. Referendum now is burning like fire in the heart of the Northerners. Coalition, a coalition group in the North are now calling for the support and immediate release of Mazin Namdekano. Of course, yes, I'm telling you the reality. You go and check. Go and check. All the regions are in support. So, my dear people in the house, we just have to be reasonable and be realistic on this. Do you understand? Because nothing, nothing I see will stop the freedom of Mazi Namdi Kano. Let me start by hearing you and hear your opinion on this very um, broadcast. Don't forget your comments, still are very much welcomed. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.